a prophetically decreeing and declare to you evangelist rob wood here of rob woods ministries thus saith the lord you will recover all with restitution with recompense with interest you're going to pursue overtake and recover all and david really found himself in a bind in 1 Samuel chapter 30. He said that David was greatly distressed for the people spoke of stoning him. The soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his sons and daughters. Now listen to this. But David strengthened himself in the Lord. Another translation says, and David encouraged himself in the Lord. Friends, you've got to learn how to encourage yourself in the Lord. You've got to look towards times past and said, yeah, the Lord delivered me from the lion and the bear. You may be facing a Goliath, but you've got five smooth stones. Now quickly, David wasn't counting on missing Goliath with stone number one. Goliath had four brothers, so he needed five stones, one for Goliath, four other stones for his four other brothers. They're in the Bible, by the way. But the Bible says David encouraged himself in the Lord. And I love this. David said to Abiathar the priest, bring the ephod here. And he inquired of the Lord, shall I pursue? Shall I overtake? And he answered, pursue, for you shall surely overtake and without fail recover all. Friends, you're going to pursue. You're going to overtake. And you're going to recover all. Father, I believe you told me to come on here and just share this simple biblical truth. That you're for us and not against us. That you're going to break through. Lord, we don't know how or when, but we're positioned for a move of God this hour. And I'm asking you to touch people that feel they're down and out. They're burnt out. They're like David of old. The Bible says they trashed and laced the place and burned it to the ground, even the livestock. But he came to you, encouraged himself first, and then you told him, you're going to pursue, overtake, and recover all. And friends, you've got to learn, number one again, how to encourage yourself. And then you've got to get on the offense. Stop getting your butt kicked by the devil and these demons. Start to take some authority. Start to learn about warfare, you know really feel to come on these shows sometimes because i know in some of the pulpits predominantly in america they don't preach the whole council and the totality of the word of god you know it's more like what god can do for you not at all what you can do for god it's like a bless me club and i'm not being harsh or rude or being a critic i just know it's coming over some of the pulpits and they don't really teach and train the people on warfare deliverance inner healings i come on here and try and give you the whole counsel of god first of all dress for the battle ephesians chapter six you've got to learn about the whole armor of god i've got a teaching on it on youtube you can find the whole armor of god it's probably 11 or 12 minutes long but i expound really line upon line out of scripture and revelate through a revelatory the different parts of your helmet of salvation shield of faith breastplate breastplate of righteousness sword of the spirit which is the word of god praying you know you can pray the word of god you've got to find scriptures that are counter attacking what you're going through and begin to pray them and fill in the void so the lord's breaking through in this hour i also love where it says david came to a place and called it bel parism which means god of the breakthrough for he's broken through my enemies like the breakthrough of water. Friends, Jesus is a God of the breakthrough, and he's breaking through your enemies. Your enemies could be health-related, could be financial-related, could be relational. It's usually those three categories. People that are sick, have an infirmity. You know, now if you've got a spirit of sickness or a spirit of infirmity, which is reoccurring, especially if doctors can't figure it out, that's a spirit. You need deliverance. You need to get around some people that can and will get you delivered. And you can do it yourself. You got to get radical for Jesus. Dig into the word, prayer. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. You've got the authority. Jesus says, I've given you 
all authority, whatever you trample upon, scorpions and snakes, where are they? They're under your feet. So I'm encouraging you. God's a God of restoration, restitution, recompense. The Bible says in Joel, he will restore the years that the canker worm and locusts have eaten. Think about some of the damage locusts can do in the natural. They can chew through crops. They got like little teeth. And we're seeing plagues of locusts right now in Africa in an unprecedented, the worst in 70 or 80 years. So, friends, I'm in cut, Father, I'm asking you to strengthen people. I'm asking you to strengthen them that they're going to pursue over to let them get vigilant. Let them be alert. Let them be on fire. For, I'm asking the power and the presence and an anointing to go after that which was lost. Make the devil pay seven times, friends. Make him, make him give back and pay everything he's stolen from you. In Jesus' name. Now, if you made it this far, please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to reach a generation for Jesus. I don't make money doing this. It's all out of my heart. I am on TV here in New York for 10 years. Everything's financed out of my own business. Preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. And friends, if you need a prayer request, go for it. Hit the like button. The Lord bless you. Amen.